Nika Art Gallery and first I need to get my face mask out and there's, I can see there's a washing facility right there so they're following the COVID protocols which is really good to see. Thank you. So first, the, the owner, this is the owner's name, her name is Nike. She's Nike Okundaye and um, she's one of the world's leading cultural icons. She's a painter, a sculptor, teacher, trainer of the arts, supporter of women, as you all know, I'm all for feminine rights, <laughs> and preserver of Nigerian culture, traditional culture practices. I did see her before and she was wearing like this Adria attire with the beautiful red coral beads, so she looked extremely gorgeous. Um, she, she did say she had a few locations across the country. This is one of the first ones she started. I had a brief chat to her and she said um, she started off in Kenya with a group of about eight Africans and two other Caucasians and then she broke out to start hers in Nigeria. So well, come on with me. So over here, I've not been here guys before so we're exploring this together. We're all, we're both on, we're all on a journey together guys. So over here you have, you have the Adira. We have the Adira section. Hello. Hello. You've got the beautiful beads. Do you know where these beads are from? Does it say any stories or? Most of what you're seeing there are made of animal bones, tea, you know, uh, different uh, natural resources like pearl beads. All from Nigeria? All from Nigeria. Oh, good. That's really brilliant. Good stuff. Good stuff. And this is um, Oba of Ogidi Land. This is the hat. And this is some headgear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does she sell them or no? Well, some actually do sell them. Okay. Really beautiful. I know that she likes colors. She likes vibrant colors. Yeah. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. This is a really nice spot, guys. If you're ever in Nigeria, Lagos to be precise, please check it out. Um, this is beautiful. I'm all for culture and tradition, and I feel like. Um, Nigeria's culture is, you know, it's, it's fastly getting forgotten. Um, so I'm glad that she started this to help revive the uh, Nigerian culture. This is amazing and it's a must visit if you're ever in Lagos. But this is another section. Oh, I can't see, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and this is the owner's husband sitting nicely. What's your name, sir? <laughs> okay, this is the Nigerian. <laughs> Love you to meet you, sir. Thank you, sir. There are more paintings here. Um, oh, this looks like, I think I know what this looks like. This looks like Yaba. This is beautiful, guys. I am like wowed and amazed. Oh, guys, if you know who this is, drop a comment down below and I will give the first winner who gets it right a present. I don't know what it is, but the first winner who drops a comment down below with the right, with the right answer gets something from me. Look at it properly, look at it properly. This is so easy, honestly. With this lady, I don't know who this is actually. Hmm. Guys, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Time to do some modeling poses actually. Hmm. This is, this is a must visit in Lagos, guys. Like, if you're into the art, this is beautiful. I, I can't, yeah, I've got no words, but beautiful. And then over here, this looks like a bigger picture of the one we saw over there. This just shows, like, when I see this, I just think of Lagos. <laughs> With the colors, the, the drama, the chaos. I just think of Lagos when I see this. Like this is my, this is what I think when I see it. It looks like the yellow buses, the the public transport buses. Um, yeah, I just yeah, the people crossing the roads with the little street, yeah, with their little kids, the red buses as well. Yeah, when I see this, I just think of Lagos. This is just Lagos in picture, really. And over here, what do we have? Oh, look at that! It's very pretty. Look at that. I want one of these in my house. This is a happy kid, a happy Nigerian kid. Look at that, look at his teeth, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Guys, this is a must visit. Totally have to visit. Oh, this is the market woman, I'm guessing, um, with, their, with their sale, like, their wares for sale. That looks like oranges. 
Guys, honestly, I'm quite new to art, so I'm just trying to interpret it. You might see something different. So yeah, it would be interesting to see um, how you interpret this art. And this is a woman with a, I think that is called talking drum. Um, this is a lady with talking drum with a, um, I'm guessing from her attire, she's of the Yoruba culture or descent. Um, she's got like, she's got a headgear, she's got the coral beads and a talking drum, like it's called. Um, I can't remember the Yoruba name for it. Um, and I think this is also done, yeah, this is by Nike. She, she did this in um, 2004. And guys, <laughs> this reminds me of my childhood. This reminds me of my childhood. Um, I grew up on the, um, if you know about Lagos, it's kind of split into two, mainland, mainland and the island. I grew up on the mainland and this like totally de depicts the mainland. Um, I grew up in the Ogba area and yeah, this like looks, yeah, looks like, this looks like, <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. And it talked about the yellow buses right before. Those are the yellow buses again. Yeah, that, that's like the, the icon for public transport in Nigeria. Beautiful spot, beautiful spot, guys. Guys, I just stumbled upon our, uh, Mrs. Nikkei's awards. She's got quite a lot. So she's got the Ashai Bile Festival Foundation Award, which was presented to her in 2009. Um, that's in recognition of her achievements and contributions to the development of the Yoruba cultural heritage. And um, she, this is also another one um, in 2011, um, which is from the Lagos State Branch of um, the Nigerian Institution of Surveyors. She's got another one here from the state of Oshun and another one from, uh, I can't read this properly, the Female Artists Association of Nigeria. Um, that was presented to her in 2011 as well. And she's got one from NCMM, not sure what that means. And also another from the Art Galleries Association of Nigeria. So wow, guys, um, she knows the stuff, she knows our art, she's quite passionate about arts and culture. Um, and I'm really, really glad she's opened this because we need to, I don't, can I just add, like, not everyone's gonna be a medical doctor and accountant. Like, we need more art in Nigeria, really. And I'm glad that, you know, it's taken a woman, you know me for the feminist I am, um, to start this and um, enlighten Nigerians about art. Where's the way upstairs? How do we get upstairs? Yeah, thank you. Guys, you should know who this is, but I'll just say it. Um, this is the Oni of Ife. I think it's still the Oni of Ife currently. This is a picture of um, the bridge, the bridges that demarcate the, the mainland from the island. So this is Kata, Eko, and Third Mainland. This is done by Mama Nike, the owner of the art gallery herself. Look at how colorful it is, beautiful. Oh my god this is beautiful guys look who i found this is my guy that's my jam this is fella that's him uh, i wonder what she made this from but it looks like what iron yeah iron and that's his um his trumpet or what's this called yeah and this looks like yeah yeah it's chains or this is very creative and it actually does look like him she is brilliant man she is brilliant good stuff Good stuff. Honestly guys, this is a must visit if you're into art or you want to learn a bit about Nigerian history and culture. Okay, these are the Chibok girls. This happened about 10 years ago when some girls were um, kidnapped by Boko Haram. Um, this, this is a portrait of them in remembrance of them. And these are also their mothers who were wailing and waiting for the return of their daughters. So it's quite a sad one really. Um, it just shows, goes to show that we have a long way to go. If you look closely, they're made with beads, um, colorful beads. So you can imagine how many beads have gone into producing this. This is really beautiful and it feels really nice. Um, so, oh my God, this is beautiful. They're all beads all the way. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is stunning. Yeah, same here as well. This is made with beads as well. And this happened in the northern part of Nigeria, by the way. This took Mrs. Nikke, the owner of the gallery, it took her a year to make. So it took her a year to make this and another year to make this. So that's two years in total. Wow, that's some effort. Because I, as you can see, it would take that long because this is basically all beads. And I can imagine how it would take someone that long to do it. Yeah, this is all beads really guys, all beads, all beads. And it's, she's got a very fine job at it as well. Um, it doesn't say what year it was done, 
but yeah she's done a very good job of preserving it as well so guys if you look very closely it seems like this is made from recycled materials i can see here a can a top of the the lid of a can like the the, the top bit um and i can see i'm still malta so that's like a drink in nigeria so uh, yeah that is <laughs> That is definitely a can, and that is cut out from a can as well. This looks cut out from a can. That's made of stones. These I'm not sure, but I did read somewhere that she, she does a lot of her work from recycled materials, um, and this is just amazing. This is very creative, and only a genius could pull this off, really. Same here as well, guys. This looks like stones, um, and then this looks like um, cans. So once again, I think, oh yeah, this, if you can look closely as well, this is the lid of a can. Oh, beautiful. Good job. Very creative. Creative. Oh, this is beautiful. The earrings as well were made from recycled materials. And the, the, hearing, the earring hook as well is made from the lid of cans as well. Guys, and then this looks like wood. Oh, wow. This is stunning. I think she's like had a long day of work. And then she just got back home and you know it's having the sh a shower with water over her hair and if you're a black girl you know what it is to have water over your hair because a lot of the time you're like no i don't want water on my hair so yeah i can imagine that feeling of being fresh being free and this i think about being tired and looking to be refreshed this one i think of freedom really i just when i yeah when i see it i just think of yeah i just think of <sighs> Whatever that is, I don't know, but yeah, that's what I see when I look at that photo. What, does, what, what do you think of looking at this photo? Is what, what comes to mind, really? And this, she looks like she's just tired. She's had enough. She, she looks like a very strong woman, but um, she's just kind of had enough. And she, yeah, she needs a bit of motivation to keep going. That's what I see. But then, hey, guys, I'm not expert at art. So I'm just bluffing my way through. And this, oh my god, this is so cute. Look at that baby hair. This is so cute. Um, this was not done by, by Mrs. Nikke. This is done by, I can't see properly, Ogun Dano Steven. And it looks quite recent um, because it says 2020 there. Uh, so this looks like a photo of a little boy who, once again, is just having a nice shower and feeling like washing away his troubles and washing away his sorrows, really. Really, really good. So a lot of these emotions I can totally relate to, especially having lived in Nigeria for 14 years before I then moved out of the country. This is actually without even looking at the name, I know it's Olumora because I've been there a couple of times. I fact, actually, I'll put a picture of when I did go there. I think it was 2014 or so. Um, I did some yoga pose on the top of the mountain, on the top of the rock. Um, this is Olumora Rock. This is Nogu State. Once again, it's a must visit. Um, it is beautiful and it's quite an easy hike up the rock, really. Yes, this looks like Makoko. Um, this, like, it's really great that you know an artist can actually you know do their work and it looks like the visual representation of whatever they're trying to portray. So this depicts Makoko really like Kadiskanos, the people, the colors once again. This. Um, so behind Makoko is a whole heap of dirt, uh, which we're hoping one day the Lagos City Council would help them get rid of. So I think the right thing to do is relocate them, clean up the area, and then maybe relocate them back. Um, but moving on, um, these are two young girls, I think. I'm not sure if it's a cultural attire, but once again, once you think of Nigeria, we love life. You think about colors, music, culture, dance, food, family. Um, is this not Fela? Is that Fela or Femi? Yes, Fela. Yeah, that's another picture of Fela as well. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful. <laughs> this is a beautiful photo of an African woman with the coral beads and the necklace. This is a beautiful photo. Yeah, it's funny though. This picture reminds me of photos of my mom when she was back, like much younger, um, maybe in her early twenties. This is how they had their hair, in, like um, with tied up in rubber. <laughs> so yeah, actually, yeah, my I've seen this kind of hairstyle with my mom when she shows me old pictures of herself. But, uh, guys, if you're Nigerian, <laughs> would you rock this hairstyle again? <laughs> Let me know, drop a comment down below. This is just more artwork, more artwork. I need to find out if there's actually any for sale. Um, I'm not quite sure. It's quite busy and I can't get an attendant to help. 
Horse riding is more of a thing in the north in comparison to Lagos. And this is, oh, I love markets. I love markets. This is a market woman with a hat protecting herself from the sun. Look at the colors there. I'm not sure what she's selling, but that's a, that's a stall over there. And yeah, it just looks hot. It looks busy, yeah. Behind this woman, there could be someone selling meat or fish or, you know, like so someone cutting hair. Oh, it's, it's, Lagos is one crazy but fun city. Guys, this is another interesting one. Um, this is various drinks we have in Nigeria. This is Fanta. This is Gouda. If you know, you know. Um, this is Malta Guinness. Uh, what else can I spot? I can spot um, High Malt. I've not had that in forever, actually. Malta Guinness again. Um, hot drink. Um, there's Red Bull here as well. Um, this is done by Samson Akinire in 2016. Oh wow, guys, this, yeah, I can see Heineken as well. And that's my guy, Nelson Mandela. Okay guys, now it's time to copy a pose. I'm gonna copy this lady's pose. <laughs> guys, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I can totally relate to this, you know, getting to get my hair done at the hairdressers on Saturday or Sunday before school uh, and having my hair done. So normally in schools, um, oh God, this really is like old childhood memories. Uh, we get, you know, the, we get a style for the week and then we have to have that hairstyle before we, we are before Monday and without that hairstyle, without the new hairstyle for the week, um, you can't come into school, you can't go into class, so you have to come pottery. So guys, this totally reminds me of, you know, back in the days when I was young, and yeah, and then you have to hold your extension, the extensions for your hair, and then pass it to them, pass it to whoever is to the hairdresser to do your hair. Oh guys, this is beautiful. I love, maybe I should actually make my hair like this before I go back home to the UK. Oh, and this is the Ayo um, in Elegoshi. So this is the Ayo festival. Um, it's one of the most prominent festivals in Lagos. Also dressed in like white robes and like hats as well, and they just dance and um, it's really, it's a really vibrant um, festival. Cut that ass! Oh my God, she's working it like uh, she's got a better ass though. <laughs> this is amazing, guys! Oh look at that! Look at that pose! I'm not even gonna try that. No, I'm not even gonna try that. I'm not even going to try these. Guys, this is a must visit if you are in Nigeria, especially Lagos, you must visit Niket, the Niket Art Gallery. It's free to enter, um, and it's loads of amazing history and culture. Guys, honestly, that's all I can say. You must, this is a must visit, must visit. Well maintained, no hassle to get in. They follow the COVID-19 procedures of hand washing um, and wearing face masks. I'm only taking off my face mask because I'm recording right now. But aside that, like, it's, it's amazing. It's well run, well structured. I had a little chat to the owner downstairs. She seems very lovely. Um, she told me a brief, you know, what caused the inspiration behind the birth of this place. And guys, this is a must visit. Oh, that's a beautiful art as well. That's, um, that must be of the, from the north. Um, I, the words, I can't remember the, the, what they're called, but that is definitely a picture from the north. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, you know we have our extension of here too. No, those are the questions I want to ask you because people don't know. Okay. So, is it okay if we ask you a few questions? You want, you want, yes. Okay. You want to see the extension? If what, yeah, is the crew happy too? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Let me get one of them. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Okay. So, Ma, um, it's free to enter, so how do we support? Oh. Because we, they need I'm to know, artist, yeah. Because uh, Lagos is. I'm an artist myself. So okay. What I want is for people to take time from no time to just visit. That one alone is enough for us. Let me get somebody who will take you to. I want you to see the other. Okay, my Ashika, my. Know my so guys, we're just here at the extension of the the main location over there in Lekki. Um, my Manike asked us to come check this out and I've never been here before so we're exploring together. Oh, once again, this woman just kills it for me, man. Look at that. She just keeps killing it for me. Look at that. This is beautiful. Look at the lashes. I don't know what this makeup like iron. 
What? This is beautiful. This is beautiful, guys. We're just going really quickly and check this out. Okay, guys, this is Adire. Um, this is largely done all about Nigeria, really. Um, um, I think I asked before, and this was made in Osho State. Um, it feels a lot thicker. I've seen Adire before, and I've seen Adire in production um, in Ogun State, Abelkata, to be precise, but it wasn't this, this quality. Um, it was, uh, I think it was quite cheap. It was about 4,000 Naira, and it was um, a very, very thin fabric, and um, one that easily washed away. But hey, you get what you pay for. Um, but yeah, this was really, really good quality, and um, apparently this was done in Ocean State. But yeah, good stuff, guys. <laughs> I cannot break this, guys. I love Nigeria. I actually do. I love my country. Probably Nigerian. Can't help myself. If you know, you know. That lizard used to give me nightmares as a kid. <laughs> oh, Lord. I love art. Yes, so this is more Adire, like I talked about downstairs. Um, Adire is popularly used um, across Nigeria, like I mentioned downstairs. Um, I'm not sure where this is made, but I know it's, it's done all over Nigeria. Oh, look at that. Look at the headgear from Heineken. I want everything in my house. Welcome to my room. Let's do a room tour. So. This is my direct chair where I just like sit down in the morning, you know, when I wake, get out of bed, read a book, think about what my day is going to look like, you know. Um, that's my bed. My blood test is made from Adire. Oh my God, guys, do you like my room? Do you like my, you know, my art? I purchased this um, somewhere. Let me sound posh. In Oshogbo. <laughs> uh, guys, oh my God, I want a room like this. Like, this is so African. Like, this is so me. Ah, uh, guys, look at the wood carvings here. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, guys. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Just women and men hanging out, really. Um, oh no, it looks like. Oh, Benin. It looks like the Benin, um, the Benin, um, you know, pictures of Benin Kingdom. Uh, so that looks like the ruler, and then does that look, look, look like the guards? This is probably his wives, Nigerian men and many wives <laughs> from back in the day. <laughs> oh, guys, this is beautiful. I want a room like this. So, guys, hope you love my room. What of my decorations would you like to have? And who knows, I might give you one as giveaway, you wish. <laughs> That's it, really. It's a wrap, 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 it's a wrap. <laughs> Guys, as you all know, I'm a chef and I love to cook. If you believe that, you believe anything. This looks like atarodo, the really spicy pepper. And that looks like okra. I love okra. And I just learned how to cook it, actually. Yeah. I don't do too badly when cooking that. Um, tomatoes, I think. Uh, these are the market women here. Yeah. It looks like they're trying to sell to this lady, and that is what this is how they measure it. And they're asking her, show, show Petty 100 naira, be 200 naira. So this is like 100 naira, or this is like 500 naira, I think, because I've sold pepper before and onions and okra. <laughs> okay, guys, um, yeah, this is it really. I think this gallery well describes Lagos. Oh my god, guys, look at, look at this. Um, this is like an Emir. Am I correct? Yeah, on a horse coming to save me, right? <laughs> And it's a wrap, guys. Um, apparently, there's another extension, but I'm not sure if we'll have the time to visit it. Uh, maybe for another day. But guys, any of these locations is a must visit. It's, it's be oh yeah, that's the other apartment we we're talking about. Look at that. That is beautiful.
Hey lovelies, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon.